Today's video is brought to you by storyboardthat.com. Please visit teachercast.net slash storyboardthat for a limited time offer. Hello there. Thank you for watching today's screencast from TeacherCast University. This is the fourth video in our online series called Kid Blog, an introduction to blogging with your students. My name is Jeff Bradbury, and I am the host of the TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network. In today's look at kidblog.org, we will take a look at the user's menu and help you add your students into our class blog. Before we learn how to add students into our classroom account, let's first examine the concept of user roles inside of KidBlog. KidBlog offers several user roles, including administrator, teacher, student, guest, and parent. Administrator role is available to users with Admin Pro site licenses. They are designed for school or district administrators setting up accounts site-wide. The teacher account can create student accounts. They can manage student passwords and profiles. They can also moderate content based on the class privacy and approval settings. The moderator role is available for admin pro subscriptions. The moderator can post comments in their classes, but they cannot edit user accounts. The student role can publish posts and leave comments. They can also request a post audience based on the privacy settings set by their teacher. They can update their profile, change their avatar, set their display name, and choose a password. The parent role can connect to their child's account via email notification. They can also view their child's posts and comments and join the class as a guest if the teacher enables this feature. The guest account can join a class with a guest registration code if enabled by a teacher. They can view posts published publicly or for their connections. They can leave comments if permitted by the teacher, and they can be removed by a class also by the teacher role. There are two ways of creating users in your KidBlog dashboard. First, click on the Users tab and click on the Create New Users button in the top right. To create a new user, type in a display name and select a password. To create a batch of new users, click on the Bulk Create button and download the simple CSV file. You can open the CSV file into your favorite spreadsheet application such as Excel, Numbers, or Google Sheets. After opening your spreadsheet, simply fill out the appropriate columns, save your work, and upload your completed file. The second method of student registration is to create and enable a unique registration code that allows students to sign up for your class blog on their own time. To do this, click on the Registration Codes button on the top right. This dialog box provides two registration codes, one for student roles and one for guest roles. Click the Enable button to activate these registration roles. Once created, these class codes can be emailed out to your student population or shared on a class website. Students can use these codes by visiting kidblog.org and selecting the Enter Your Class Code button on the front page. We will show you how this works from a student's perspective on a future video in this online course. Once a user is created, you can edit their account by choosing the Edit button. From this dialog box, you can change their avatar, view their individual storage, and update their email and password settings. Additional options will allow you to set the display type for their date and time, as well as the ability to enable or disable theme animations. To remove a student from your class, simply click the Remove button and your students will be deleted. The complete video series to this online course can be found on our website, teachercast.net slash learnkidblog. I hope you take a moment to browse this and all of our online tutorials over at teachercastuniversity.com and teachercast.net. We want to take a moment here and say thank you to everybody out there who's watching or listening to the TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network. There's, of course, several great ways that you can participate in TeacherCast each and every week. We love it when you find us on Twitter, at TeacherCast. Like us on Facebook over at teachercast.net slash Facebook. Subscribe to our many audio channels and video channels over on iTunes. Email us at feedback at teachercast.net. Find us on Pinterest. And, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel at teachercast.net slash YouTube. The TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network. What do you want to learn today?